Now for a look inside a home of the future, in fact, the first of its type in the country. Built from recyclables, the Adelaide Hills home doesn't just reduce utility bills, it virtually eliminates them. And if that's not enough, the so-called Earthship is also fire and cyclone proof, as Rodney Lowe's found out. It's called an Earthship, a self-sustaining, off-the-grid, self-powered, energy-efficient home. Essentially, you have almost zero utility bills. And the other interesting thing about the Earthship is it has very stable indoor air temperatures due to the ingenious design. And they use a lot of recycled and natural materials, in particular car tires. And the first one, council approved, legally built in Australia, is this place in the Adelaide Hills at Iron Bank near Harndorf. I've spent about four years actually doing research on Earthships as as part of my PhD at the University of Adelaide. You're using essentially no energy. The energy is just kind of coming for free from the sun collected in, uh, by the panels and stored in batteries. It's the work of Dr Martin Freeney and a band of volunteers. Well, we broke ground in July 2009 with Michael Reynolds, who's the uh, American architect who developed this system of building. And he came up here with some students from the University of South Australia and we pounded out 60 tyres in an afternoon. And since that day, I've just been sort of chipping away at it on weekends and during my summer holiday. It's all part of preparing for the future and maybe even changing the future and turning back climate change. But Martin draws short of calling himself a doomsday prepper. I can see the writing on the wall, but uh, I mean, my main agenda here is to um, help people get into sustainable housing and you know, develop new systems of living. And you know, hopefully we don't need to worry too much about prepping. If everyone had an earthship, then there'd be no need to prep kind of thing. But Martin is playing the long game. Changes to life on earth are more likely to be gradual. So he's prepping for hotter summers, longer droughts and power bill Armageddon. And although the Earthship is fire resistance, he's ready for whatever comes. The tyres, which generally burn wonderfully well when they're in a big pile, that's because they're sort of surrounded by air and oxygen. But in an Earthship, they're filled with earth, you know, highly compacted earth, and they're coated with a layer of cement render, which is what I'm sitting on here. So. That's, that's essentially non-flammable. This house even has an indoor veggie garden and free aircon. Once in a while I'll have to clean out these cooling tubes down here which are bringing cool air in in the summer and actually they preheat the air a little bit as well in the winter because what they're doing is they're doing a, a heat exchange with the uh, very stable temperature of the earth. So no fan, no electricity. Correct. Free aircon. Free aircon, that's right, year round. In the meantime, he intends on using the future-friendly home as a and b and maybe encouraging a few people to build one. Well, everyone wants to know about the cost of an Earthship and unfortunately it really costs about the same as a similar sized home. Um, but the beauty of the Earthship, it doesn't have the ongoing running costs. Mm -hmm.